Hello Taurus and welcome to Bon Sagittaro. My name is Robin and today Taurus we're going to do a you versus them. We're going to find out how your person's feeling, what their actions are, what your feelings are, what your intended actions are. We'll find out what's going on in the next couple weeks between you and your person. I do want to say um, as well I'm doing a contest so to say thank you for supporting my channel. Um, I'm giving away four free readings so if you want one just like, comment, subscribe, typical YouTube style and on the 14th of April I will be announcing the winners. Um, so this is your side. We're going to do you first. You'll know how you feel. Let's, you'll know if it's your reading or not by the cards that come out. I got a card that's flipped, so I just got to fix that. But, ow, sham. Okay, <laughs> this had to make its face, okay? So the Eight of Wands, the Chariot in Reverse, and the Emperor. So I feel like you're trying to take control of the situation, but maybe you might be going back and forth, or somebody's going back and forth. This is you, your deck. I'm going to say maybe you're going back and forth. You're not sure if you want to make the effort here. Let's find out. So... How does Taurus feel about the person on their mind? What do they want to say? What messages? Well, what does Taurus say? What do they feel? <laughs> Show us how they feel about the person on their mind. Talk to us. How's Taurus feeling right now? And I apologize if you can hear my son and his friends. Um, they're upstairs. I do this in the basement and they are running around like having an earth war or something. So the five of wands in reverse the tower in reverse, and the princess of cups in reverse, okay, and your intentions or intended actions in the next couple of weeks, the three of swords, the page of wands, the ten of cups in reverse, and the ace of pentacles in reverse. And the Six of Swords in reverse. So you're feeling, uh, actually, you're feeling kind of stuck, like I said, going back and forth. Five of Wands in reverse. You want to end this conflict, so there is some kind of conflict between you and this person. What do you want to say about the Five of Wands in reverse? Yeah, you're hold but you're holding on to that. Con Ooh, you're still blocking them. So the Eight of Wands and the Fool. You're blocking this new beginning, but you're holding on to it. So you're going back and forth, Taurus. Uh, with the Tower in reverse, you're resisting. Uh, what is, Lowell, let me, hold on. Before we say what I think it is, let's. Get some cards to clarify the tower in reverse here. A no card flips. All right, there it is. Ah, the ace of swords. Okay. Ace, there's that card of, okay. It, yeah, okay. So there is bad blood. There's spilled blood. There's something that happened in the past. There's obviously clearly a conflict. Ooh, Taurus, uh, judgment. And you are resisting this. This tower in reverse is you resisting because... Um, I feel like you've had some clarity and um, you would like to apologize. So if this is your reading, there's something you want to apologize for. This is my apology card. This is a card of soulmate and connection. So you feel a strong connection to this person. You want to apologize. They could be, um, I mean, that could be you, but that could be the devil in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with another earth sign. Or you're just trying to release um, your attachment, but it's not working. <laughs> um, yeah. You, um, there's some bad, you, yeah, you want, you, you're resisting, you're resisting this, um, because I do feel like you owe an apology or you want to apologize. Maybe you don't know how to apologize, the proper way to apologize, but you feel guilty. You feel, um, responsible for something here, Taurus, um, but you are resisting this. You're resisting having to, um, there's a page of swords, communicate this, um, interesting so the page of cups in reverse is again it's just you holding back so you're not talking to this person you're feeling there it is the world and the world with the mm -hmm. you want a new cycle you want something new i feel like you know what you got to do but um at this moment you're resisting that so let's see what um you're going to do in the next couple weeks with the three of swords the princess of wands the ten of cups in reverse and the ace of pentacles in reverse um let's get clarity because what do you want to say about this three of swords Whoa. Okay, it's telling me to take the lover. Whoa. Okay, this is what they want me to do. Whoa. Whoa. There's the world again. So the seven of pentacles, the world, and the lovers in reverse is clarifying the three of swords. So I think you feel like they're really hurt. There's the devil in reverse. You feel like they've released you. Maybe they blocked you, Taurus, but you feel like they've released you. Um, you're hurt as well, but I feel like you also think they're hurt. Um, you feel like damn, you really do, um, you really do want to apologize for something. Like you want, and I'm curious to see what's going to come up on their end. You want a new cycle with this person, but you are afraid 
to come and talk to them. You're really afraid, but you want to invest in this, but you are afraid to tell them how you feel. You think that they'll reject you. What did I do here? One moment, Taurus. I did a little something. What the hell did I do? I don't even know what I did. Okay. You're afraid they're going to reject you, so I don't see you doing anything. You just want to say anything else, and you're feeling extremely stuck at this moment. Anything else, to Taurus? You got it. The Queen of... Oh. The Queen of... Seven of... Cup. Oh. Ooh. Um, it, you also feel like they have other options, and that's... Um, you can't release that. You feel like they're real extremely attractive, and you feel like they have other options... Maybe that was part of the problem is you're kind of exhausted with um, maybe you feel like you have to compete with other people or compete for their affection. Um, but you definitely feel like they have other options. You feel like right now they're exercising those options. And it also kind of like I feel like it's it's frustrating to you. It's hurting you. But um, you're not doing anything because you feel there's the page of swords. You feel like they're just going to block you. Let's find out what's going on on their end. Um, so show us what's going on with the person. How does the person on Taurus's mind feel about Taurus? Seven of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Maybe you had other options and, and those options were not the this person's. Maybe those options were you, Taurus. Um, show us. Uh, ah, how does this person feel about Taurus? Person on Taurus's mind. How do they feel about Taurus, please? We have the Ten of Wands in reverse, we have the Nine of Wands, and we have the Knight of Wands. Oh, sorry, I don't know if you can hear my dog. So then we have, so their actions, or intended actions, are the Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Swords in reverse, and the Four of Pentacles in reverse, and on the bottom of the deck, the High Priestess. Um, so how they feel about you is they're wounded. They are wounded. They would like more consistent. They would like. They would like more consistent behavior from you. Um, they're definitely wounded, but they want to drop that baggage with you, Taurus. They want to drop it um, and create more consistency with you. They want you to be more consistent with them. They feel like uh, you put a halt on this. Um, they're wounded. I don't know what else. There's the conflict, the five of wands. So the six of cups, but they feel. Yeah, they, they feel stability with you. They feel a soul connection with you. They're really burdened by this. They're really hurt. So this person, and I'm like, they're really hurt. I'm not certain what happened, but um, they're hurt. It's under the high priestess in reverse. They, they know, but right now they're, they could be listening to other people too. Um, I feel like with the high priestess, they're, they're, they're turning to other people for advice, for words, for wisdom. I'm not sure they're saying the nicest uh I don't know how else to say that. I'm not sure they're saying the nicest of things to you with the high priestess in reverse here, but um, they are turning to their friends for help. I feel like they're really hurt. Um, so their actions in the near future, the five of pentacles, the knight of swords in reverse, and the four of pentacles. Um, what do you want to say about the five of pentacles? They don't want to feel this way anymore. They're watching you. They're looking at you. They're planning, but they're holding back. And this person, like the knight of swords, are not. they're not... They're not communicating to you. They're holding back from you, Taurus. Um, this person is extremely hurt. What is this four of pentacles in reverse? What do you want to say about that? They're trying to release you, um, but they can't. So they want... <laughs> I don't know how else to say that, Taurus. They want to release you, but they can't. So they're stuck on you. You're stuck on them. They're really hurt. You want to apologize. Um, and you're both just thinking about each other, really. The situation has both of you in your mind. So let's get a few oracle messages here. Um, what does Taurus need to surrender to when it comes to getting the outcome they want with this person? What does Taurus need to surrender to here? So surrender your addictions. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin and heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. Surrender to complete healing. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical and emotional and spiritual healing. And surrender to your soul's path. 
So your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. So whatever it was that happened, um, turn it into a positive, just as a lesson, as something to learn from. Um, let's see. And you got to heal from it. So what is the lesson? What is... Yeah, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. I feel like you're really afraid to contact this person, but I feel like you really want to, Taurus. But you're resisting. Um, and death. I am learning that endings are merely new beginnings. As one door closes, another always opens. So, but I don't think you're ready for this to close. And I don't think they can close it. They're stuck. They can't release it either. So, what is the energy oracle message? What do you want to say to Taurus? What will help Taurus? What words do they need to hear right now? Please talk to us. We have, ooh, your chakra. So seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, man holding a coin, and door to spirit in reverse. So interesting that it's kind of come up twice. So I feel like... Um, there's a blockage in your crown chakra. So there's a blockage to your spirit, to your connection. They have it as well. I feel like you're both experiencing an emotional uh, blockage at this exact moment. Um, and there's just a message here that they're trying to guide you. This is, you are on the path. This is where you're supposed to be. This is how it's supposed to be going. I know that might not be what you want to hear, but I feel like that's you, by the way, the King of Pentacles. Um, and I just feel like just focus on your life and yourself. But don't forget to connect to your spiritual self or to learn the lessons that you're supposed to be learning through this. Because we've got, this is your path. This is what is supposed to be happening here, Taurus. I feel like we make the effort. Whoever this reading is for, they really do want you to reach out. I know you're not ready. And right now, I don't think you are. But we'll see where you are in a month. But they want you to know that this is a lesson that needed to be learned. and oh, Because you are the empress. So don't worry, like you will make things happen. Like you're coming up as the Empress. This is Taurus Virgo. Um, so you make things happen and you will when you're ready. But right now I still feel like you're not, ah, because you're still in hermit mode with the magician was in reverse. Um, you're just not ready. And I don't think they are too. <laughs> um, let's see if there's any other messages. That, oh, let's get the hidden oracle. Hold on. So what is this person not saying to Taurus? What is hidden from Taurus from the person on their mind? person that they can't that they're thinking about here talk to us we will be together again <laughs> told you they can't release you so i couldn't let you get close to me i look for you everywhere i hope that one day you can forgive me so both of you are feeling extremely guilty I was wondering if that was going to come out on their side. So, because the judgment, I feel like both of you feel guilty. Both of you want to apologize. Both of you are hurt. Both of you are not ready to uh, to do that. So let's just get your potential outcome here. Talk to us. Well, actually, no, before we do that, let's get some advice. This wants to give you some words of advice. What do you want to say to Taurus about the situation? What will help them? Nine of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Four of Cups in reverse, and the Sun. So, okay, on the bottom, yeah, the Eight of Cups. No regrets. <laughs> this is what I was thinking in my head. So, I, I feel like you're stressing, you're overthinking, um, and they want you to not nurture that, to stop doing that. No regrets. Learn from that experience, Taurus. Um, I feel like with the Four of Cups and the Five of Cups, are really. I feel like you're really dwelling on it. Um... And they, if that's not going to bring you the joy. That's not going to bring you this person. That's not going to fix anything. It's not going to bring your happiness. Your happiness will be accepting this, learning the lesson. And I feel like taking the steps to that you need to take to heal. But overthinking this and doing nothing but thinking about this and about the regrets, it's going to chew you up. It's going to eat you alive. And that can actually make you physically sick. Um, stress is always putting you in that fight or flight risk, right? With the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, she can indicate health issues. So for me to say that... Um, cut out the overthinking i don't know how else to say that um that stress that anxiety that constant fight or flight those issues of regret that can manifest as what you don't want in your body 
So stay healthy, take care of yourself. As you're going through this, learn from these lessons, become a better person from them. And that way, when you guys, when you guys do talk, you have healed and you can come to a resolution or a solution if that's what you want. So let's find out where things are in a month from now. So let's get your potential outcome to us. So I say potential because there's always free will. And I say outcome, but it's in a month from when you watch this video. Where's Taurus in a month with this person? How are they feeling? What are they thinking? Talk to us. Ah. The bottom of the deck, death and rebirth in reverse. So the fool in reverse. Four swords in reverse. The strength. We have the chariot. We have the hermit. And we have the eight of swords. So there's still... So at the beginning... Like, okay, so I feel as though you're stopped resisting this. You're not resisting this anymore. You're starting to take action. You've gained the courage and the strength to um, reach out and move forward. Um, you're not thinking about this. You've gained the enlightenment. What I can't tell is which way you've moved forward. Have you moved forward single or have you moved forward and reached out to this person? You're not overthinking it anymore. You've had your enlightenment. Maybe you're still in hermit mode, but let's find out. What is this chariot? How are is uh, you? Oh, the Knight of Cups in reverse. Hold on. The Ten of Wands in reverse, High Priestess, and the Ten of Cups. So, <laughs> uh, so your intuition, um, yeah, I, you reach out to this person. Um, I feel like you, you reach out to this person that you were resisting. Your intuition's guiding you there. And uh, it's beautiful that the High Priestess came out. Because you see how she has a scroll? Like, she turns knowledge into inf or information into knowledge she uses her experience and her wisdom and moves forward in a brighter manner so i feel like you're dropping the baggage with this person uh taurus you're putting the past behind you guys and you're you're more at heart look at this the ten of cups whoa the knight of swords in reverse you're not going to move too quickly though so you do reunite with this person you know that there's happiness here you guys could have been married or had a really long-term uh, connection there's unfinished business it's on both ends so you do chase after and go after your happiness with this person. I don't mean you chase after this person. I just mean you chase after happiness with them. But you're not going to rush. You're not going to go too haste. You're not going to make any quick or rash decisions. Um, irrational decisions, I should say. I feel like you're going to be strategic about it. But I feel like you're, gonna, you're ready to drop the burden. Your intuition's guiding you there. You're ready. So in a month from now, Taurus, I feel like you're, you're, you're ready to talk to this person and try and work things out. Um... You've made the choice to not resist this anymore. Yeah, there's a page of one. So you um, you go forward and you approach this person and you guys start to talk. So you know what you want and that is to, to talk. There's the Ace of Cups. So you're not moving too fast though. That Knight of Swords keeps coming up in reverse. So you're not um, you're not acting too, like I said, too haste, too quickly, too irrational. You're taking it slow when it comes to this person. And I think that's where it's right for you. So Taurus, that's what I have. I hope you enjoy your reading. Let's get your yes or no question to close it out. Yes or no, what's the answer for Taurus? The answer is yes. So Taurus, thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate it. Until next time.